A while ago, you may remember that Duncan Rhodes launched a Kickstarter for his own line of paint called Two Thin Coats. Today, we're gonna to try them out and see how they hold up and if they're worth getting. I'll catch you after this. Hi guys, it's Josh at The Pickle Jar, and yes, today we are taking a look at a brand new line of paint that has just hit the shelves and is now available for you guys to dip your toes into. Not literally dip your toes into, it's paint. Dip your brushes in it instead. So in today's video, we're going to put them to the test. We're gonna try them through an airbrush. We're gonna try them with a dry brush. We're gonna see how they perform painting just with a standard brush. We're gonna see how the metallics look. We're gonna see how the washes work and hopefully give you a full picture of what this paint set is like and if it's something that you guys need to invest in. Without any further ado, let's get cracking. So before I can start testing out any of these new paints, I need something to paint. So I figured, why not work on some of my Aeronautica that's been sat in a box for a long time and had nothing done to it. Now, I built up a few of these. I've not built the entire set. I just thought I'd build a few to try the paints out. And I got them all ready. I used a little bit of masking, put it on the dials on the bases just to make sure that they didn't get covered over with paint because that wouldn't be helpful if I wanted to read the numbers. And then I gave them all a prime, just using the airbrush and some Vallejo black surface primer. I figured I'd go with this because it's a fairly standard primer that I use through the airbrush. And I didn't want to use anything too fancy or different for these paints because I wanted to give them a fair test. I know they say never to judge a book by its cover, but this is a nice looking paint set. In the full set, you get 60 paints, you get 48 paints that are the sort of standard primary and secondary colours that come in the triad system. You get six metallics and you get six washers. You also get a conversion chart if you've been using other paints or you're wanting to mix these in with your current collection so you can see what to match them to for Citadel and Army Painter, which is a nice bonus. And you also get a colour wheel because everybody knows that you're not a serious hobbyist unless you've got a colour wheel hung on your wall. I took a little bit of time to look through the colours in the box and decided on going for green salamanders for the Space Marines, I know, it's a shock, and then I went for red for the Eldar. Whenever you're trying out a new paint brand, I think it's important to get a feel for how it performs before you start actually using it, regardless of whether you're going to be using it through an airbrush or through a normal brush, you should just get a feel for it, just see how it reacts, how it flows, how thick it is, how thin it is if it reacts to thinning particularly well. That's all I'm doing here. I just chucked some colors on my wet palette, mixed them around a bit just to see how they acted. And I was pretty impressed. These act fairly similar to what you'd expect from stuff like Citadel. Now that I got a feel for the paint itself, I started getting to work applying a base coat through the airbrush. For this, I thinned it just using a couple of drops of water, nothing fancy, nothing special, and just got a nice base coat down of the base green layer, ready for some highlights on top. While I'm getting the base coat on, let's take a quick look at the bottles themselves. These come in 15 milliliter bottles. I like that they are fully transparent, so you can see the paint inside. That's quite nice. I only had one issue and that was with this paint. I'm not sure if the lid wasn't screwed on properly or, or what had happened, but it has leaked all around the nib and in the lid. It wasn't like that on any of the other paints, so it was just an isolated incident. Maybe something to look out for. The paints themselves all applied really nicely through an airbrush. I generally use paints that are already thinned for an airbrush whenever I'm airbrushing, just because it's easier than having to thin stuff down. But these thinned pretty well. I thinned them all exactly the same. I put two drops of water in on every paint that I put through the airbrush. They were fairly consistent with how they applied after that. So I'm quite happy with that. The consistency was really nice. I'm really happy with the finish as well on these. They dry fairly matte they're not too glossy but they're not like super super matte if that makes sense and yeah i didn't really have too much of an issue as i said i generally go for paints that are already thinned and ready for the airbrush rather than having to thin stuff down just for convenience sake but with how these applied especially the reds i think i might be using these a little bit more through the airbrush in the future anyway that's enough messing about with the airbrush it's time to get my bristles wet Thank you. 
Now it was time to start getting some work done with the brush. I decided to go with the blacks and greys just to add some more detail to the Eldar ship itself. I didn't thin these down at all. They just went on my wet palette. So I guess they do naturally thin a little bit because they're on a wet palette, but I didn't add anything extra. No water, no thinning agents, no retard or nothing. And I have to be completely honest, I am really impressed with how well these applied. The black especially, it just went on in one coat without needing any extra coverage over. All the rest of the colours were fine as well, but it was the black that stood out to me. I really like the finish on it, I love the coverage. It was really easy to just add these on, layer them on, do some edge highlighting, a little bit of blending on the gems and some scratchy highlights on the windows, on the cockpit. I was really, really happy and I'm actually a little bit taken aback with how nice these paints were to use. Now we're going to head over to the shades and add some recessed shading to both ships, both the Space Marine and the Eldar. On the Eldar I'm going with more of a recessed pin shade, like more deliberate, and on the Space Marine one I'm just going to chuck it on and see what happens. Um, all the shades went on really well, they flowed really nicely off the brush and they went into the recesses really nice. Even though I'm absolutely slathering this onto the Space Marine ship and just really going to town on it, it went into the recesses and didn't really stay in the flat areas too much. Now, there was a little bit of staining as you'll see in the next clip, but considering how haphazardly I chucked this on, I'm really impressed with how well it worked. Determined to cover all bases here, it's time for a quick dry brush just to redefine some of those edges on the Space Marine ship and again these paints applied really nicely. I did a green and then a green and yellow mix just to add some edge highlighting back onto the Space Marine ship and yeah, impressed with that as well. Onto the metallics and this is where I was a little bit nervous because I have some metallics that I like to use and nothing generally comes close but these actually do a really really good job and the closest thing that I have found to the Vallejo metal colour metallics in a long time. If nothing else I would highly recommend picking up the metallics from this set but if I'm completely honest I haven't really got anything bad to say about this set. It is a solid paint set, it covers really well across the board, the washers are really nice, there's a nice selection of paints, the finish is really nice on them. I've applied them via a dry brush, an airbrush, a normal brush, I've done the washes of the metallics and I haven't really got anything bad to say. Other than that one paint bottle which may have just been user error, this is a really nice paint set. So there you go guys, I hope this video has been useful for you. Would I recommend these paints? I think I would, yes. At first I was a little bit worried that they were going to be a very generic paint set that would just be installed on the back of Duncan's name and his sort of status within the hobby. In actual fact, it's a really robust paint set. The metallics are absolutely amazing. You get a nice selection of colours. I like the triad system for each colour. It makes it easier, especially for beginners looking at doing, you know, layering up and highlighting and stuff like that. It's nicely laid out. I really like the washers as well. They performed really well and I like the coverage and the finish of the paints in general. So yes, if you are looking at picking up a new set of paints, whether you want to get some of the starter sets or whether you want to get the full set, I would recommend these paints definitely. They'll be getting used a lot more on the channel in some upcoming projects that I've got. So if you want to see more on them, stay tuned for more videos in the future. If you've enjoyed the video, leave us a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the paints from what you've seen in the video. And if you're brand new, hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all the content coming in the future. If you want to help support the channel, there are a number of different ways you can do so. The first and foremost is by joining our Patreon. If you sign up to Patreon, you'll get access to exclusive behind the scenes content, bonus content, you'll get extra stuff like stickers sent out and your names on screen right now and my eternal gratitude. Massive thank you to all our current Patrons. You guys are absolutely awesome. If you want to help support us in any other way, our affiliate links are down below in the description. If you want to pick up any hobby supplies or new projects or anything else, use those links and we get a bit of a kickback and it doesn't cost you guys anything extra. That's going to do it for me. I'll catch you in the next video and until then, enjoy your hobby.